Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check two motors from Flywoo. These motors are a part of the new line of motors named Robo, which offer a budget-friendly alternative to the Ninja motors. Currently the Flywoo Robo line of motors is based on three products. The RB22.5 by 6.5 motors, which are intended for 5-inch racers. You can get them in 2450 kV version, which is the one that I'm going to bench test in this video, which can handle up to 4S battery, and you can also get a 1750 kV version, which can handle up to 6S batteries. The second motor is the RB1202.5 5800 kV motor, which is intended to be used on toothpick style quadcopters. Depending on the propeller that you're going to use, it can handle up to 4S batteries. In addition, the RB1507 motor, which is intended to be used on 3-inch quadcopters, is also a part of the series. It is available in 2 kV options, 2900 kV, which can handle up to 6S batteries, and 4150 kV, which can handle up to 4S batteries. Currently, I don't have this motor, and I might feature it on a later video. Let's start with the RB22.5 by 6.5 motor. In case you wonder about these numbers, 22.5 stands for the diameter of the stator and 6.5 indicates its height. The weight of this motor, including the 16 cm long 20 gauge silicon wires, is 31.1 grams. On the top side of the motor bell, you can find this grip pattern that will help you to better secure the propellers. Unlike other budget friendly motors, its motor bell is secured using an M3 screw, and after removing it, here you can see how it looks from the inside. In terms of performance, I have bench tested this motor on my Moto Thrust stand using 4S and 3S LiPo batteries. On 4S, I tested it with 5 inch propellers, and on 3S, using 6 and 7 inch propellers. I do think that this motor will be able to withstand 6 inch propellers on 4S, but you are going to push it to its limit, and if you are going to hit 100% throttle, you are likely to burn this motor. According to the results of my thrust test, the maximum measured thrust was 1.3 kilograms. So it's not as powerful as the Ninja motor, but still, considering its price and also its efficiency, I think that this motor is a good candidate for a long-range build. Moving on to the 1202.5 motor. Its weight, including the 16 cm long, 26 gauge silicon wires, is 4.5 grams. Its motor bell is secured using a C-clip, and here you can see how it looks like after removing it. In addition, the diameter of its shaft is 2mm. In my opinion, the decision to use a motor shaft with a diameter of 2mm is a little bit strange. Since the central hole diameter on most of the propellers in the market that are designed for this type of motors is 1.5mm, and without any modification, you won't be able to use them on these motors. So what you will need to do in order to make them fit is to use an M2 hex driver, and then simply walk your way out like that, and after giving the propeller a little push, eventually it's going to fit. In terms of battery compatibility, if you are going to use 65mm bi-blade propellers, you can use up to 4S batteries, and my suggestion is that if you are going to use 2.5 and 3 inch tri-blade propellers, stick to 3S type of batteries, because if you are going to use 4S, you are very likely to burn this motor. I'm going to wrap up this quick video with the thrust test of the RB22.5 by 6.5 2450 kV motors, and as always, you can also find the results in the description box of this video. As for the smaller motor, I'm going to feature it soon in a build video, so stay tuned. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.